Hello everyone, thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. We all know that there's been certain rumors regarding actress Tonto DK and her newfound love, the prince, which has been making round of late that there's been a breakup between both of them, inciting that they are no longer together. And, you know, it was open there earlier, few days ago, that prince, that's the boyfriend of Tonto DK, who is now referred to as ex-boyfriend, was cheating on Tonto DK. And he never said anything regarding this. All he did yesterday was to go on social media to like hail Tonto's ex-husband, that's Church Hill, and telling him that he is a real man. He didn't specify why he made that comment, but it was indicated that he's actually making that comment based on what he had gone through with Tonto DK and indirectly trying to tell Church Hill that he tried staying with this actress and he was just trying to let him know that he is a real man to have endured all he endured with actress Tonto DK. But today Prince Pokobiri has finally reacted to allegations of him cheating on the actress while they were together and Prince dared those claiming that he paid money over the evidence that was dug up against him to come forward or remain silent forever. That was what was happening as of few days ago. Everybody was like, come out to defend yourself if you didn't really cheat on actress Tonto DK. Insinuating that he is a victim of blackmail, the businessman also claimed there is a plot to pull down men and the recent revelation reveals that they all need to be wary of Helen of Troy, as it is glaring who had an ulterior motive all along. This is what he is also saying, and stating that people have been asking him to maintain his silence. But Prince Bogobiri, who yesterday held Tonto Decay's ex-husband, Olakunle Churchill, saying that he'll be doing future potential victims a favor by speaking up as he has become a pattern for her indicating that he is coming out to speak up today because he wants to help future men that want to be with actress Tonto DK I think this statement he is making has a whole lot to say because he is trying to present actress Tonto DK as someone who is not an easy person to be with as someone who if anyone tries to stay with her would just run away for reasons best known to them that have had anything to do with her. And the prisoner's man who is Prince Pokobiri disclosed that they dated for only three months and also alleged that Tonto DK cheated on him right from the start of their relationship, begged for a second chance and threatened to kill herself if he didn't forgive her. Wow, is this not so much? Do we all think that actress Tonto DK will go on to do this? Well, you can never know everybody through and through. And at the same time, when statements are being made about allegations, we don't draw conclusions until we hear from both sides. And this was his exact words. He actually posted this on Instagram. You know, these days, the easiest way for people to communicate to the world is on social media they go to social media platforms different platforms to post messages or to post things that are happening in their lives the words coming from prince Popo Biri, that's the ex-boyfriend of tonto dk he said this as a publisher a businessman and for the sake of clarity for the timid followers i dare politician or anyone at all bold enough to come out with evidence of blackmail of any sort, kind showing hush money paid, 
and for what he or she was blackmailed for or forever remain silent. As for cutie juice, you can keep dishing out your BS to gain traffic along with your so-called gist lover. Nigerian men, they are coming for you all with the same pattern. Once you are close enough to her, your downfall is plotted and executed in association with bloggers. The recent revolution shows we all need to worry of Helen of Troy. It's glaring who really had an ulterior motive all along as exposed by her patterns in crime. People have been calling for my silence the past weeks, but I believed I would be doing potential future victims a favor by speaking up as this has become a pattern for her. We dated for barely three months and it was more or less a living hell. So much has happened in such little time that I overlooked for the sake of the so-called relationship and my personal sanity. However, I will be releasing evidence on how Auntie cheated right from the very start of our relationship when she went to Lagos to open her legs like Lekki Tollgate and how she cried and begged for a second chance and even threatened to commit suicide if I didn't forgive her. Last, last, there no worse evil than a bad woman and nothing has ever been produced better than a good one. Hashtag Helen of Troy. So this is what Tonto DK's ex-boyfriend, that's Prince Pukobiri, had come out to say, inciting that the relationship was a living hell for him and that he is coming out to speak up, not because he really wants to speak up, but because he wants to help future boyfriends or future husbands that want to get themselves entangled with actress Tonto DK. But the thing is, if he is claiming that Tonto DK cheated on him right from the very start of their relationship, and he is saying she also threatened to commit suicide if he doesn't forgive her, then why wait for three months if he felt that it's a toxic relationship, it's a relationship that wasn't working? A relationship that is not working or you feel this person is cheating on you then you continued went on and on you know there are a lot of things involved in things like this hey you said she started cheating from the one that they started this particular relationship all because of the threats that she had threatened to take her life away if he doesn't forgive her that was the reason why he continued with the relationship so now that he has backed out and the relationship has ended he is now saying that the three months he stayed with her was a living hell then if it was a living hell why stay for up to three months okay if he claims that this same person cheated on him right from the very first day they started relationship do you think that what he is saying regarding Tonto DK having to beg him and having to say threaten to commit suicide is this something that is likely to have happened when you know that actresses or people that are popular out there know they can go out there and get any man they want no matter how long it will take or how short a time it will take they will still be entangled with somebody will Tonto DK now go to the point of having to beg this man and talk about committing suicide well we can't draw conclusions in issues like this until we hear from the other party it may or may not have happened. Who knows? Except Tonto DK would pop up to say something regarding this particular comment. But you know, definitely a lot of people would have different things to say. Some people are on the side of Prince Pukobiri and try to hit back at Tonto DK and call her names and all of that. Like she doesn't stay one place. She's always with different men at the same time and all of that citing that she is not someone that you can keep and someone is also hitting back at prince poco Biri. different people on different sides different people for either tonto dk or prince poco Biri. but there was something 
a particular statement someone made that struck out. One of the comments someone made was this. Popo Biri, if you want to hammer on the internet, make your story sound convincing. The three months of your relationship was a living hell and she organized a birthday bash for you and you went ahead to collect car key. Why were you eating all of that then if you claim she's been cheating on you? Secondly, she started cheating right from the start of a relationship and you didn't do the honorable thing that real men do. Now that you are caught cheating, you started spilling out your heart. You started spilling out your heartfelt stories to the public. If not that Halima chased you away like a thief, you would have said more. I really feel sorry for men and women who fall into the hands of the wrongest people while in search of love. At this point, Tonto DK should please focus on herself and son and above all, God loves you. So this is one of the statement that actually stood out because this particular person had to point out silent but very important things that had happened in the relationship first if you claim someone is cheating on you from the very first day you started a relationship at that point the relationship is still fresh there's nothing really happening is that not the opportunity for you to just quickly back out because you've not spent any time with this person you're getting to know this person just from the first day and you observe somebody is cheating on you is that not a clear indication that this relationship cannot work or the person is with you for an ulterior motive and then it's a red flag for you to just run away but then this same person is claiming that on that first day Tonto DK is now the one on her knees begging and asking you to forgive her and then threatening that she's going to take her life. This is looking very, very dicey and it's trying to make people to dig deep and to find out who is really saying the truth. And the person cited some other things as to the bad they remember that Tonto DK had surprised him with the very expensive birthday bash that she had blown out for him and even gave him a car which he collected the car keys openly Tonto Dike showed all of this out on social media you remember that few days ago that's the day before yesterday when the actress Halima Abubakar had also dished out on Prince Popobiri and she said a whole lot and even made a very huge statement as to chase him away and warned him never to come on her page anymore that was open just the day before yesterday exactly on friday so right now all of this are coming out if prince probably wants to use this as an opportunity for him to create fame on social media for him to be well known that he should get his story straight and he should make his stories more convincing because his stories are not convincing enough for people to buy into it it's so obvious that somebody here is not saying the truth because really and someone said something a real man would not continue in a relationship that on the first day the person you're about starting a relationship with has already said cheating on you would you stay there and stick your neck there if there isn't an ulterior motive you also have some people are saying all right maybe he wanted to use Tonto DK to be famous since she is a celebrity, she is well known and so if he gets himself entangled with her, a lot of people will get to know him and probably that's another way for him to promote his printing business or whatever business he's actually into. Definitely in a relationship like this, you will know that someone has an ulterior motive. This is a relationship that started on a smooth path from the way Tonto Dike had presented it it's a smooth relationship and people thought that oh okay they may end up getting married because it seemed so sweet and everything look looking so good out there between both of them but while the relationship kept on progressing there was nothing like okay this relationship is looking soured it just came out like a shock to everybody within just three months and everything has just ended and he is coming out with this but we recall that Tonto Dike had come out to say that 
he was actually cheating on her and that was why she backed out of the relationship for him prince Wolverine is claiming that he only came out of social media all because he just want to help future men that want to get themselves involved with Tonto Decay that she is not someone any man can stay with and that is why he went yesterday to hail Tonto Decay's boyfriend and trying to tell him that you are indeed a strong man to have stayed as long as she did with Tonto Decay. Friends, we all think that it was actually necessary for him to go on Tonto Decay's ex-husband's page to pen this down. Do you think this is what women do and not just what men? You know, most times men don't react to the point that they would now start dishing out on the woman. Men, most times you find out they will just come out to say one thing and end it there. But having to go to the page of the ex-husband, do you think this is another way for him to create more popularity and more fame? Or is he out for something? On the other hand, if Tonto Dike actually cheated on him as he claimed, who do we now believe? Because Tonto Dike is saying he was one who cheated on her. Now he is saying she's the one who actually cheated on him two sides of the story so who is now saying the truth about what really transpired but a question will fall out there guys generally if you're trying to date a girl and then she cheats on you from the very first day you ask her out and want to start a relationship with her would you still go ahead with that kind of a relationship would you see any future between both of you would you see this person as someone that will be faithful even in the relationship or would you want to say you would want to take a risk how many people out there would still go ahead with such a relationship we're trying to put in and weigh in one and two together regarding what prince pogobiri has actually come out right now to claim that transpired in the relationship between him and actress tonto dk well let's watch and see how all of this unfolds because from this statement, definitely Tonto DK would still have to say something regarding this statement that he had played out there in the public for everyone to see. And let us also watch and see if her ex-husband Churchill would also say something with regards to Papa Bury's statement as to hailing him and saying he was a real man, a strong man to have stayed with Tonto DK because he is not someone anyone can say and to come out in the open to say you want to help future men out there who wants to have anything to do with tonto dk is this something that a man would go ahead to do is it his business if any other man wants to have something to do with tonto dk was this another right move or do you think that this guy is out for something and his approach to all of this and his responses should this be the best way for him to go about it especially going on the page of her ex-husband and even saying he wants to help future men not to go in with turn to decay friends please whatever you think about this his actions his statements please you could put that down at the comment section but like i said right now we're going to still wait and hear if actress turn to decay would have anything to say regarding what he had mentioned about their relationship friends thank you for coming up today please don't forget to hit on the like button also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video thank you god bless you all